This is a 360 video. Look around. If you're on desktop, make sure you're in Google Chrome and use the W, A, S, and D keys on your keyboard or click and drag with your mouse. If you're on mobile, make sure you're in the YouTube app and swipe or move your phone. Enjoy the show. Welcome. I'm Sebastian and this is Lying for Money Game 27. Sudden Death. Allow me to welcome our three rookies. Josh. Erica. And Scott. In this bag. I have three 3D printed tokens. Two of them say Seeker and one of them says Liar. Above the Seekers there is a circle. Above the Liar there is a triangle. Please select one token out of this bag and do not look at it until I let everyone do so. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. look at it. It's... I mean you can look at the token but you can't open it until okay, I let everyone do so. Yeah, don't find out which team you are on until I let everyone... There you go. All right, everyone, please look at your tokens. Put on your masks. And stick out your fists. Josh, did you open it? Oh, you have to open it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stick out your fist, everyone. If you would like the $10 cash prize divided evenly amongst all of you, regardless of the winner, please lift your thumb and keep it up now. Masks off. Zero votes. We're gonna keep the cash prize for the winners at the end. Game on. <laughs> I'm ready now. <laughs> Let's do this. <clears throat> it sounds like a nervous laugh. <laughs> like you could be hiding something. Is that the last time? I. You're, not you're like the Grand Inquisitor I see in this game. You're, you're not reacting at all. I'm not reacting at all. This is my <clears throat> pu -pu -pu poker face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> being, being that you are, are, are seeking the, the role of the Inquisitor, I can see that you're just laying right into us with your, with your questions. I'm, I'm inclined to suspect something about you. <laughs> Although I can't substantiate it in any rational Are you left-handed or right-handed? Sick. I mean, I'm ambidextrous. Oh. Was that a cat? It, it was, was a cat. Just, well, there was a bottle of water that I just saw. What did, what did you eat for breakfast yesterday? What did I eat for breakfast yesterday? I ate soup. Okay. Why? why? Yeah, why did you have soup for breakfast? No. That's, that's... Oh, hush. I'm low carb. Ah. I make my own broths. Cool. You, you, you make your own broth. Okay. <laughs> Right, are you the liar? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, are, uh, did you... Uh, <laughs> you just completely avoided the question. He said no. No, I said oh, no. Did? Oh, okay. I'm old. I can't hear very well. So It, are you, it looked like you were avoiding the question, so... Because you like squirm like you're sitting on your hands right now. Like, ow. Oh, oh, that old nutshell. You know, Where's up. the good cop? Sitting on your hands, kind of fidgety, moving around. I feel like you're just trying to bull crap around. No. He's just trying to keep us on our toes. That's what here. I do. I know. I told you I studied. Yeah, I know. He's like reprogramming. He wants us to believe that we're the liars. 
and it's gonna we're gonna look we're gonna look at what we're gonna remind ourselves of what we picked. He's like neurolinguistically yeah, programmed. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. I went to the Tony Robbins seminar. Are neither mm -hmm. of us liars? Did you, did you walk across the coals? Yes, I did. Did you burn yourself? I did not. I thought it was fake. He did. He's not lying. Yeah, not okay. lying. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, I'd, I'd call you a liar, but I want it to be true. So, Maybe it is. So, I mean, why that's are why you, I'm disappointed. You're just doing nothing but laughing, which is usually a sign of being uncomfortable. <laughs> so I am. <laughs> she's so she's so pale, so too. So it's like you can see like the the flushness just like fading in and out. And you've got a horrible poker face, and I know this from personal experience because I know you. And you're like, Mom, you can't hold a secret either when somebody's trying to play a prank. So that leads me to believe. That it, yes, that leads me to believe that, that you most likely have the little triangle. Why don't you just give it up? This is this is getting ridiculous at yeah. this point. Um, this, yeah, that's gonna be a quick game. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> no. I've completely shifted off of him now. Yeah. Yeah. He's done with me. I, yeah. I can. The, the heat is off um, of me, and it's on to you. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast yesterday? I don't know. I woke up at five. Yeah, what'd you have for dinner? I don't know. Are you the liar? No. You answered very quickly there. <laughs> well, I could have avoided the question like him. Let's get back to the soup. <laughs> <laughs> the soup? Oh, yeah, I that's what you had soup for, for dinner. That is what I had for, for <laughs> Yeah, you had lentil soup for dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had a, a can of chicken for lunch. A can a can of chicken? Can of chicken. They serve them in cans. That's disturbing. Without the bones. D that's still disturbing. I mean, it's non-perishable. I mean, would you would you like rotten chicken in your mouth? No, but I would like normal chicken. You, will you carry a refrigerator around with you? Yes, I do. You go? Really? I Where? do. You're both it's, twiddling it's your toes the exact just, same way. There's just too much hot air. I, I, I didn't know that you carried a refrigerator around you. I do. You guys are mirroring and modeling each other i've stayed like this. that's part right of now. my nlp game right there you you mimic the uh i'm impressed the, that you know nlp so you mimic good. the body language it's it's like you know a force mind trick yeah i've been something like this but she's not time very weak-minded yeah because she didn't uncross her feet just now i want to go back to the fact that you just keep laughing and can't stop <laughs> yeah but you know me and i do this whenever i'm uncomfortable but you also do this when you're trying to hide something and you can't. Mm -hmm. Or I do and it just because. Like, I how many times have I, mean, I, I know I only is, know you from a couple of times being yeah. here. You've got the dad vantage. It's it's kind of unfair. Like you know, you've you've been looking at like the pathetic lies of like little kids. Like, drawing the exactly. Like since like, I got in poop on the floor. <laughs> well, yes, you've been. <laughs> have you pooped on the floor? You're disgusting. Not within the last five years. Um, I, I was be hoping. honest. <laughs> if you would have asked within the last five minutes, <laughs> do you um, drink? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. All right. So there is a chance you've pooped on the floor in the last five years. That's gross. Probably. Okay. By proxy, I mean, because I, I I do lots of wet farts, and uh, it's. At some point, you know, it's like it transfers from one surface to another, and then... So you're going to be a how, how are you getting the, such a gross... What, did somebody sit on your drink? <laughs> you can't... <laughs> See, is she going to lose it? Now you I'm getting a tough read on, just because uh, okay, you, you're... You, you have a large vocabulary, and, and, and you're a writer. Mm-hmm. So I'm... Uh, I'm a I'm a weaver of, of fictions. So, a, so exactly, so you're a fiction writer. So this is why writer. you are inclined to think that everything that comes out of my mouth is a fiction. At first, yeah, that's because mm -hmm. you're, you're you're 
spinning a tail. You've been You're dominating the conversation. I tend which, to dominate which, everything. Which, which means that <laughs> no one's had the chance to ask you questions. Ask and me I a think question. that you've I think that you've used this to your advantage the entire time. Like no one gets to accuse you of being a liar because no one's. I mean, I guess because I haven't been brave enough to ask questions. Um. What is the longest distance you've ever walked? Uh, 24 miles in the 60 mile three day breast cancer walk. So 24 miles a day the first day, 22 miles the second day, and roughly 20 miles the third day. So 60 miles over three days, mm -hmm. three years in a row. <laughs> Have you ever supported a leader who's been on the wrong side of history? I just feel like yeah. I don't think so. Okay. I, I, I typically stay out of politics. I don't really support one person or another, although I would like to see Trump win just to break the system. I see. <clears throat> well, surely you must be lying then. Because <laughs> why would why would anyone know? He's not lying. Um <clears throat> Did you enjoy the third sequel to Jurassic Park? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Why would anybody? It was pretty bad. I mean, they, they didn't even bring back, um, they didn't even bring back, Grant, um, what's his name? Jeff Goldblum? Goldblum. Jeff yeah. Goldblum, they didn't. Yeah. Ow, ow. The movie just wasn't the same without that, that laugh that he did. Yeah. They brought him back in Lost World. I keep looking at you. I, I was, um, I didn't actually see the Independence Day sequel yet. Me neither. I was um, a little disappointed in myself, you know, being <clears throat> such a Goldblum fan. So are you a Star Trek fan or a Star Wars fan oh. or both? I, uh, I do appreciate both, although I find um, Star Trek to be more satisfying in its, in its complexity and in its... Uh, you know, sort of ethical, you know, statements. It's Star Wars is very, you know, good versus evil. It's very, very oblique, you know. Uh, I believe you. Star Trek, you and know, we, there, there are so many allegories in all the stories. There's so many, um, you know, different visions for humanity and, and of history that, um, that can be seen from series to series, season to season, you know, it's like you get the exploration aspect from the, the first seat, the first series, you get the, um, the, the ethical challenge of the next, the challenges of the next generation, and then you get like the, uh, so if you were in the series, would you be a red shirt? Probably. Okay. They would send me into a, a transporter room and I'd be one of those ones that would emerge on the other side, like. We're coming yeah. up pretty, like, pretty mellow now, so. Like, um, like Jeff Goldblum at the end of The Fly. I'm kind of shying away from you now because you've been pretty even. Let's ask you some questions. Okay. <laughs> pretty defiant okay there. <clears throat> um, hmm, this could get interesting. I'm just going to come right out and say it. You're the liar. Yeah. This is... The, All right. <laughs> I guess. Am I? I believe you are. Yeah, because <laughs> I think you've been trying to play the role of the Grand Inquisitor for Final the whole. Answer. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Out of just sheer impatience, I'm gonna do it. It was a pretty quick attack. Yeah. <laughs> so are you gonna nominate me? You're nominated. <clears throat> you gotta say the phrase. I, I hereby nominate Scott. All right, we have our first trial. Scott has been nominated. Josh, you have the floor. You don't have to provide testimony, but if you would like to, now is the chance. Um, my testimony is that he's been uh, trying to control the steer the conversation. He's been trying to just kind of cold read throughout the the whole thing, and I can see the the strategy behind what he's doing. It, he's he's just trying to get us to like 
you know, get impatient with him and just, you know, throw it. You're the liar. We, we know you're the liar. And, you know, she's not going to say it. She's, she's too scared. So. <laughs> what am I scared of? It's, he's your father. So, I, I just feel like with the way you've steered the conversation, I, I just feel like, you know, there's, you know, you, you put the heat on her and it's like, you know, if she, I think she would have cracked already if she were actually the liar. Is that all, Josh? I just think that with the amount of pressure that's been on you since the beginning, you would have cracked sooner if you were the liar. And I feel like, I know I'm not the liar, so I, what am I gonna do, accuse myself? That leaves you. It's, it just seems, it just seems logical to me. Being a Star Trek, to coin a Star Trek phrase. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. That's Thank all. you, Josh. <laughs> Erica, would you like to provide a, a testimony about Scott? No? All right, Scott, defend yourself if you must. Couple things. Um, you you mentioned that that I've been trying to cold read everybody. Yeah. Which is what my intent was from the beginning because I've been doing some research on trying to figure out who liars are. So. And I picked a couple things up for me right off the bat. But um, if I were the liar, I wouldn't be trying to cold read the populace in the room. Did you, Josh? Okay, so you already had your chance. It just seems interesting how you how you came at me with that. So I'm gonna, I'll leave it at that. Is okay. that all? Yep. Thank you, Scott. Everyone, except for Scott, please put on your mask and stick out your fist. If you would like to eliminate Scott, please lift your thumb and keep it in the air now. Masks off. One vote from Josh. Scott sees another round. Let's crank the volume up just a little more for the... Just, just give it another two bars. Oh. You, guys can keep, you guys keep playing. You guys keep playing. I hope we're still friends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, no, but it might... Some of my I, some of my theories have proven true. So, um, it felt a little antagonistic from from my from my end, and I do apologize if it came off that way. Oh no, no, no and it's it's point. all in the spirit of the game. It, it's all in the spirit of winning, is what yes. it is. So, and I, I think I've uh, figured that out. So, um, I'm just going to come right out and, and nominate Josh. <laughs> As a liar. Makes sense. Makes sense. I nominate Josh. All right. We have our second trial. Scott has nominated Josh. Scott, you have the floor. <laughs> you, you deflected it pretty pretty quickly. Like I said, right off the bat, uh, and you're doing it again right now. You're sitting on your hands again. Um, you've done a couple different things uh, throughout this, and 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 you knew what I was trying to do with trying to to, to read you. Uh, on this and trying to read her as well. So, um, you're a very well-read person, so again, you knew the strategies that I was trying to employ, um, yet the body doesn't lie sometimes, so. That's, that's fair. Please, Josh. So, um, that's it, I, I think I made my case. All right, thank you, Scott. Erica, would you like to add anything about Josh? All right. Josh, defend yourself if you must. My word is my balls, and I don't break them for nobody. <laughs> Not nobody. I haven't told a single lie in my life, and I'm not about to start for this, what is this, this game show? So, so you can take your accusation and you can take it back to Canada where you got that shirt. <laughs> Is that all, Josh? <laughs> I rest my case. All right. <laughs> Everyone, except for Josh, please put on your mask and stick out your fist. No, no, Josh, you're good. I mean, you can do it if you want, but you're good. 
you would like to eliminate Josh, please lift your thumb and keep it up now. Masks off. Two votes. Josh, you have been eliminated. Okay. Were you the liar? No, I wasn't. Who was the liar? Scott wins game 27, sudden death, and qualifies for the inner circle. I'm Sebastian. This is Lying for Money. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. They got me chasing after money that don't exist. Debt, it's on paper. Cats with calculators. Calculate a way to make a real dollar. Off a dollar faker. And you know they say to trust God, he's your maker.